Good morning, everybody. So a couple questions came up on my YouTube channel, uh, which is it's not like a big YouTube channel, but uh, it's, it's some definitely some videos out there about connecting Arnold um, textures, uh, textures to the Arnold materials so that these animated textures that I had done for, for this particular video uh, show up. Now, I, I did connect one uh, just to make sure it works. So just so we can see see this, let me just go to the Arnold renderer here and I'll just kind of scrub through. So we can kind of see that, yeah, there it is. The mouth is changing and it's doing everything it needs to do with the transparency, which is good. Uh, and I want to do the same thing for the eyes. So let's, let's go into that. So I'm going to select uh, the eye geometry and I'm going to go into my hypershade. Um, here it is here. And let me just focus in on just the eyes. So this, this is an addendum to the animated textures video. So, um, the setup is going to be fairly similar. Now there, this is being driven by, by some sliders. And again, if you'd watched the previous video, I'll, I'll just show you where the connection needs to be made on the, on the, uh, Arnold material, just so that, um, you're clear on, on where that connection needs to go. But other than that, it's, it's going to be the same video as before. Now for the Arnold material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a new, um, oh, where is it? Arnold standard surface. Now also just full disclosure, I don't use Arnold for rendering. Uh, so this is just specifically for, for the shader hookup. Now the regular PNG Maya file texture doesn't seem to work, uh, with the transparency at all. Uh, it just comes out as a solid color. So to get this working, we do need to use the specific Arnold uh, texture. Uh, so Arnold has a specific node, uh, which is somewhere. There it is, Arnold um, image right here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna load in the eyeball texture. So I have my animated PNG sequence here with the different eye states. And again, this is all in that other video. So let me just load that. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by plugging in the color first. And I'm wondering if I can get, let me just minimize some of this stuff here just so that we can see it a little bit more clearly. Just move you over just a bit. Uh, so the out color uh, is going to go into the base color. Base color, there you go. Um, and also, let me just apply it to the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, select objects with materials. So this is selecting the old Redshift material. And I'm going to assign the new Arnold material to that selection. There it is. So we can clearly see, yeah, there's the, there's the eye there. So I want to have a nice clean cutout for that. Now, what we want to do is we want to connect the out alpha uh, to the transparency, um, which opacity right down here. Now, if I were to just connect it like this, it, it doesn't let me do it. So it, see, it blocks it. So what I need to do is I just have to open up the tr opacity and just connect the three individual channels. So RGB. Cool. And there it is. It was like the full full thing. So that's good. Um, another thing you might want to do too, I, I which I did is just in your AI material, uh, you might want to turn off uh, the specularity. perhaps. Yeah, your call. Uh, and then also, uh, let me see here, diffuse roughness. Yeah, I just want to make sure that that's, which one is better? Yeah, just, no, it is a little bit gray, but I think that's just the, uh, the lighting maybe in my scene. He is in a bit of a, of a shadow there. The, the mouth looks a little bit better. Um, uh, I'm almost wondering if I should grab the mouth and, um, just check out what I did for the for the textures for that. 
And I should probably label these as well. So this is my AI. This is the uh, left eye. And then we've got the, yeah, there it is. And then, let's see, I should turn notifications off when I'm doing this. Let's see if I can select that meth. There it is there, which I should label, right? That should be labeled, but I guess I didn't do that. So AI mouth MTL. Okay, uh, so where is that uh, mouth MTL? Right here. So what I could do too, is I could copy the presets or create presets for this, just because I do find that this is a little bit wider than that. But again, it could just be strictly just a coincidence, just based off of the, uh, the lighting and everything, I, which I think it is. Um, I did set it to raw too. I wonder if that makes a, a difference. It did, yeah, it's a little bit lighter. I mean, technically, you would want it set to sRGB, but for some reason, it's it's dulling it down. I don't know. Anyhow, that's something you could always tweak in the um, uh, maybe adding a bit more of a multiply to it. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to go off on a tangent just because I I want to do the the hookup for this. But let's see here. There we go. That's a bit better. So just multiplying that by two makes it a bit wider. I should probably do the same thing for the mouth as well. So let's see. And I also apologize. Looks like sounds like there's some construction going on. Uh, actually, our neighbor, I think there was a hole in the roof. A squirrel looks like it had gotten in. So I think maybe they're taking care of that at the moment. Uh, so let me just multiply that by two. Oh, there we go. That's a nice bright, bright smile. You know, that's maybe too bright. Uh, let me go like 1.5. All right, cool. This is supposed to be like a painted on texture, right? Um, and then uh, what I want to do is the um, connect it, and then I'll do the other eye. So to connect it, we do have uh, the original and we have the new one. So I'm just going to open those into my node editor. So I'm going to click on the sparkles to clear everything and just open these up. So again, I'm not gonna go through how to make all of the connections that's in the other video, uh, but just so you know that where does this need to get connected to? So you can see the original one gets connected into the frame extension. Now the um, Arnold material does have a frame option as well. Now, before we can use that though, you can see that I, I don't have use file sequence turned on. So I do need to turn that on first. So it is taking on my, my sequence of images. Um, and then I just need to make sure that this guy, the output from this guy is connected into frame. So in a regular file texture goes into frame extension for the Arnold one, it goes into frame and we're replacing the expression that gets generated when you turn on use sequence. There we go. So if I were to play through this now, yeah, there we go. We got the blinks. All my animation is working properly with my, with everything. Perfect. Now I just got one pink eye. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, so let's do that other eye. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select, select that. And let's open that up over here. So again, let's clear this out, load you. And I'm going to grab a Arnold material. Now I could just duplicate this material here. And in fact, um, I, I think that's all it is. It's just a duplicate. Um, so let me, let me do that. So I'm going to grab this eye and I'm going to go to, I'll just load this in. And I want both of these. So let me just click on both of these and input output connections. There we are. And for this guy, I'm just going to go in and duplicate shading network. And now we got two of them. 
So this one is going to be my other eye. So let me call this one the right eye. There we are. And uh, so the, the image sequence and everything's going to be the same. Now this is a, a duplicate. And so I don't know what that's actually getting connected into, but let me just break that connection there. And again, let me just turn that on. All right. Yeah, so this is the expression. So again, we just need to connect these guys. So I'm going to grab both of those file textures, go back to my node editor, sparkle it away, and load the input output connections. Oh, there we are. Let me reselect them. Actually, I don't need I don't really need to see that one I just need to see this guy and the output from this one so output to frame so again you know it's it's going to be um, the setup is the same though so we've got this material and I'm just going to select that geometry and apply it assign material to viewport selection there we go awesome uh, so now, if I were to play through this, yeah, we've got all my asymmetrical blinking going on, and we have him waving his little hearts. Cool. So, and it's that easy. Hopefully that helped, and good luck with your projects. Uh, and uh, take care. I'm going to end the video here.